Hi everyone, Mossimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have something, probably the coolest video I think I've made in a long time. I mean, I love our videos, but today's video is about ChatGPT and Zoho CRM. It's all the rage right now. Everyone's talking about it. Essentially what Zoho has done is they've integrated ChatGPT to help you write emails, summarize leads, summarize contacts, summarize deals, basically summarize anything. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the integration how to find how to tweak it and then how to use it both in the sending an email or summarizing something so as always please like comment subscribe we love hearing from you guys and feel free to join my office hours you can meet with me talk about some of these features we also have something really neat called our community or our inner circle there'll be a link below to it it's a place where you can find all kinds of resources from us. It's a one-time fee. We actually have a promo going on right now where you can basically get 10 years of our knowledge dumped into one spot, how to set up CRM, checklists on how to set up desks, our favorite partners, our favorite telephony, et cetera. See you in the video. All right, so let's get into it. So your CRM may not look exactly like mine does, um, but essentially where this ChatGPT feature is, is inside of Smart Prompt. So you could see here, there's a Smart Prompt button. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. You can see at this point, it's going to have a little pop-up to set up your ChatGPT integration. Now, my API key is blurred out here. Zoho actually walks you through how to find your secret. It'll actually hyperlink you to the page, you log in, create a new secret, copy that and bring it back here. And that's it, you're integrated. So it's super easy and it's free. Uh, you don't have to pay for ChatGPT to do this. It's something really cool to try out. So I would encourage everyone that's watching this to try it out and you'll see why in a minute. But for those of you that don't know, ChatGPT is a AI software that basically you can feed data into, for example, help me summarize X, or write me an email about Y, or write me an essay about Z. What it'll do is it'll actually spit that information out. And it writes it in a very, very easy to read format. The language processing in it is pretty amazing. So from a CRM perspective now, think of the possibilities. So for example, you could go to a contact and hit summarize this contact. It'll read through the contact, read through all the notes, read through all the tasks and summarize it. You could go to an email, start typing up an email and say, uh, I want ChatGPT to summarize this or write it in a better way and it will do so. There's a lot more features you can do with it, but in today's video, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Yeah, so let's hop into it. Okay, so here I am in a contact, this is me. And there's some cool things you can do with this smart prompt. And probably the biggest one that I'm gonna show in today's video is helping you draft an email. I'm gonna go ahead and hit plus here. You'll see it'll open up the email wizard. Let's say I want to use ChatGPT to help me answer this or write an email. I can click here, this smart prompt thing is a new thing. And so I could say, welcome a new customer, right? And I'll move this. You'll see it'll load for a second. And it just wrote this from ChatGPT. So what it did is it looks at our website. It then goes and finds a, uh, some information about us, writes some content. You can also just write something here. So hi, Mosmo. And let's say you did that. Now I could go try smart prompts, open prompt, and you could say rephrase. So it's gonna take that and rephrase it. And then you could say, yeah, you know what? I'd rather that be sarcastic, for example, right? Or you could say, you know what? This is more of a professional setting. Let's make this more professional. And so the idea here is this software is really powerful in terms of reducing the amount of time and effort it takes for you to answer leads and respond to people. And so, and obviously you can use this stuff moving forward and it has all kinds of applications and Zoho is building it into all of their apps. But I would encourage everyone to try this one to start, kind of get used to it because as with all things that are new, it has some limitations or, or watch out. So I would always say to use it here, correct it. And so I'll just go through a full example here. I'll say uh, open prompt, I'll tell it to uh, make it short and professional update. It's gonna make it short and professional. There we go. 
now you can just simply copy and paste it, right? So it's not perfect in the sense that it auto goes in there, but at the same time, when you're writing something very long, maybe a follow-up or a quote check-in or something of that nature, you're gonna want something like this. And this is hugely beneficial if you're having a back and forth with a client, right? This is like the main feature of this smart prompt in here. You can rephrase, enhance vocabulary, simplify, or you can open the prompt and go even deeper. And you can think of all the applications for this. If you're onboarding new staff, you can tell them, listen, use a smart prompt, always have a professional tone no matter what you write. Or let's say you really like the writing, you can take that and use it later on. So what used to take a long time to actually send an email, to think of how to write it, to make sure your tone's good or whatnot, is now taking seconds. And so I'd encourage everyone to check out this feature, try it out. There's more that Zoho's coming. I'm gonna have more videos on this soon, but this one is how to use a smart prompt in an email browser. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from everyone and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.